Hello students, how are you all? Hope so all of you are fine and happy. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Biology in Seconds Today we will discuss the introduction to logical problems. Let's start. Lessons, uh, we are uh, at the light board and as I've already told you, we are going to start logical reasoning. Ab logical reasoning, abhi jaysa baat ho rahi thi. it seems a very horrible or horrifying topic to all of you, but it is not. Discuss karing in detail se, and I assure you that you will find it comparatively easier. Before moving on, let me tell you what is logical reasoning. Logical reasoning actually hai kya? Logical reasoning, as you can uh, detect from the name, that it is about thinking logically or making logical uh, deductions or uh, drawing logical results. This is what we mean by logical reasoning. Or you may say it is a process through which we can uh, separate or we can uh, figure out the correct option or uh, we can separate falsehood from truth. So this is what logical reasoning is all about. When we talk about or otherwise we have like in, in, in so many our discussions, we often say to our friends, yeah, ko logical baat karo yeah. ko reasonable baat karo. Hum kehte hai? Because we feel that the argument he is drawing that is not valid, that is not logical. So you are aware of it. It is not something you are completely unaware of. You know what do we mean by logical reasoning or logical thinking or logical discussion. You all are aware of it. But practically, specifically, questions ke tabar se MDCAT mein kaise dekhne ye ek tricky cheese hai jo hum isme discuss karenge secondly another important thing so many students are like often aghast or they are like stunned ke why this logical reasoning is added to mdcat syllabus i feel this was one of the best decisions uh, you can have why because if you go through all the international tests be it regarding engineering or medical or anything like that, all the international tests, they do have uh, logical reasoning as part of their syllabus. Why? Because if a person is not thinking logically, if a person is lacking the analytical ability, or if he is not having the critical thinking, then whatever subject he or she will be reading or studying, he'll not be a good professional of that subject. So that is a very very good decision to make logical reasoning a part of MDCAT syllabus. Hota kyun hai? Wo bhi bata de to hume kyun problem lag rahi hoti hai? Hume problem isliye lag rahi hoti hai ye ke shuru se hume logically socha nahi se khaya jaro hota and we feel ke yar 10-12 saal hamari logic ki maat maari hai and all of a sudden now we are required to think logically so it takes a bit of like time or adjustment to digest that but overall it is a very good thing to have and you should appreciate whoever has taken that decision that he has done a great job. Now, coming to uh, logical reasoning as far as uh, MDCAT is concerned, there are, if we talk about total number of questions, we have six MCQs of logical reasoning. Che MCQs hum jo hai and these six MCQs are divided into six types. Although one of uh, one of the type is further divided into three categories, but wo dekhenge overall jo types hain jo din che walo se aapko evaluate kiya jayega, that will be six. Aur wo kaun kaun si hai? The number one is. The number one is critical thinking. Now critical thinking, abhi hum dekhenge further isko jaake. Isme aapko 
दो स्टेटमेंट्स दी होंगी और दो स्टेटमेंट्स की बेस पे थर्ड स्टेटमेंट के बारे में क्रिटिकली वैल्यूएट करना होता है आपको कि वेदर दिस इज अ ट्रू स्टेटमेंट और अ फॉल्स स्टेटमेंट इट इज ट्रू फॉल्स और जो भी आप उसका कंक्लूजन uh, ड्रॉ करते हो दैट यू हैव टू मेंशन सेकेंडली दैट इज कॉल्ड सिंबल एंड लेटर सीरीज नो दिस कैटेगरी ऑल दो इट इज नॉट मैंशन दैट नंबर आर इंक्लूडेड इन इट बट इट कंप्राइज ऑफ थ्री फर्दर सब कैटेगरीज नंबर वन इज number series if you go through the syllabus of a pmc you will see that number series are also also mentioned in that heading okay usme better bada bada categorically unhone likha hua hai it can be symbol letter or number it can be a series of symbol letter or number so number series are also a part of it second one is as a symbol series we will discuss about it in detail when we talk about uh, these certain lectures and then the third one is the third one is letter series and sometimes there is a possibility you can have letter and you can have letter and number series combined so these four uh, sub categories are all related to this second group that is called symbol and letter series then moving forward the next one is the third one that is logical logical deductions now what are logical deductions different scenarios will be given and the logical deductions and you will have to detect what is the logical conclusion of uh, this question or you will have to find out an option uh, that satisfy all the conditions mentioned in the question so different conditions de di jayengi wo hum dekhenge logical deductions abhi intro mein ek ek question hum sab ka iska karenge but abhi hum just iski discuss kar rahe types moving on you have logical problems now logical problems are the toughest because you get confused so very easily badi aasani se jo hai wo aapko isme confuse kiya ja sakta hai hota kya hai isme two statements are given or you you may say do uh, aapko conditions de di jati hain and depending on uh, these two statements there are two conclusions given as well do conclusions bhi di hoti hain and then at the third step ye teen step mein basically ye hote hain at the third step you are required to tell what or which conclusion i should say is the true one whether it is conclusion 1 conclusion 2 either one or two both one or two and so many there are five options given and that is very confusing you may have seen uh, during the last years last two years you may have seen so many memes circulating around logical reasoning aur aap bachche jo social media pe bahut uh, vibrant hai they will be aware what i am uh, telling you 
کہ اس لاجیکل ریزن ریزننگ کے حوالے سے لاجیکل پرابلمس کے حوالے سے دیر وار سو مینی میمس دیٹ ور وائرل ڈیورنگ دا لاسٹ ٹو ایئرس سو دس از دا ٹفیسٹ تھنگ بٹ آئی ایشور یو دیٹ ویل ڈو ایٹ ان اے ویری کنوینئنٹ اینڈ کمپریہنسو مینر ایف یو ٹاک اباؤٹ نمبر فائیو از course of action a particular situation will be given to you a specific situation will be given to you and you will be required to tell what to do to correct that situation what should be the corrective measures what should be the corrective action to uh, rectify the problem aur ye bada important hai comparatively easy hai comparatively it is uh, easy but in your personal life or if you talk about life learning skills this particular question is very very important that you must know ke zindagi mein jo masail aayenge unke liye course of action aapka kya hona chahiye and then finally you have cause and here you will be given a particular statement and you will be asked what is the cause and what is the effect you will have to basically differentiate between the cause and effect now again as far as life learning skills are concerned or um, soft skills i should say they are concerned cause and effect questions are very very important because they'll not only help you solve problems in mdcat but they will also help you a great deal while uh, you move on in your life and uh, face different challenges so hum bhi hum dekhte hain ki kis kis tarah se inki ek ek example hum karke dekhte hain ki kis tarah in sari cheezon ko hum tackle kar sakte hain aur ye questions basically kya hain so let's move on and solve our questions لین اسٹوڈنٹس ہم ڈسکس کر رہے ہیں اب ون بائی ون چھ سیناریوز جو ہم نے ڈسکس کی ابھی ان کو ان ڈیٹیل ڈسکس کریں گے ان شاء اللہ دا ویری فرسٹ ون از کرٹیکل تھنکنگ ناؤ کوشچن ریلیٹنگ ٹو کرٹیکل تھنکنگ کین بی آس ان ٹو ڈفرینٹ مینرس ون از دیٹ پیراٹیولی لینتھی پیراگراف ول بی گیون ٹو یو اینڈ دین یو ول بی آس ٹو اٹیم ٹو ون اور ٹو کوشچنس ریگارڈنگ دیٹ پیسج آئی ہیو ریٹن دیٹ پیراگراف فار یو Uh, the water resources of our country are very much underutilized. The main reason for this wastage is lack of capital and technology. A huge amount of water is wasted due to floods and unwise use of water for irrigation. We can make full use of water resources by building water reservoirs and adopting modern, modern methods of irrigation. Now, as you can see, uh, you have been given a complete paragraph and now you will be asked questions regarding that particular paragraph i am writing down the question question one can be if i say pakistan has a large area and thus a lot of water is wasted now you can have five different options for that question number one will be alpha definitely true beta probably true charlie
insufficient data delta probably false and eta definitely false. Now you will be given these five different options that a statement is true, definitely true, probably true, insufficient data, probably false or definitely false. Now you'll have to evaluate the statement considering these five options. If we talk about this statement, Pakistan has a large area. Now it is not mentioned here. We have no clue in this particular passage that whether Pakistan has a large area or not. So considering this, we cannot evaluate the statement whether it is true or false because no data is given. That is why in this MCQ, our right option will be option Charlie, insufficient data, because we have not been told about the area of Pakistan. So this is how can, uh, you can actually solve these questions. Then secondly, you can be asked, I'm giving you another question. Building Reservoirs can help us reduce this wastage of water. Now this statement, you'll have to validate this statement and again, you will be given the five different options. Considering this statement, we have a clear clue. A huge amount of water is wasted, number one. And secondly, we have been told by building water reservoir. If we evaluate that statement, it is evident that building water reservoirs can help us uh, reduce this wastage of water. So in that particular case, our option will be alpha. Definitely true because we have been told very clearly that building water reservoirs can help you reduce the wastage of water. So ek tarika to ye hai critical thinking hai questions uchne ka. Another way in which these questions can be asked is that you will be given a uh, you will be given a statement, a set of statement, I should say. Uh, and on the basis of first two statements, you will be asked to evaluate the third one, whether this statement is true, false or uncertain. So we are going for that type as well. That is actually type two of the critical thinking questions. The first statement is Sara is elder than John. James is elder than Sarah and then John is elder than James and you will be asked If the first two statements are true, then 
the third statement is alpha true beta false and charlie uncertain so this is the second type of questions related to critical thinking now how to solve these questions you can assume a particular number we'll discuss it, uh, it in detail when we talk about critical thinking questions sara is elder than john's very easy we can assume a figure for sara say assume kare hum sara is 30 years old and james is elder than sara now james must be at least 31 years or 30 se kuch bhi upar ho sakta hai and then john is elder than james ab is statement ko aapne evaluate karna hai ab john kya tha he was younger than sara so sara ki agar age 30 hai to john ki kya honi chahiye it must be 29 because otherwise first statement will not hold true so we can see that the third statement john is elder than james it is false why because john is even younger than sara to sara to khud james se choti hai to fir john kaise jo hai wo james se bada ho sakta hai so in this mcq our option will be option beta this is how uh, you solve the questions of critical thinking now move on to the next type ले मेरे बच्चों नेक्स्ट वी आर गोइंग टू नंबर सीरीज एंड देन वेल टॉक अबाउट लेटर सीरीज एंड फाइनली एंड दस चंक वेल डिस्कस अबाउट simple series it is actually a one single question but it has different variants as i have told you in the intro so how does number series work you will be given a series of number in a certain pattern and then you will be asked what number will actually follow for example if i say 1 3 4 5 6 and then i'll be asked what number will follow and the options will be 11 12 13 and Fourteen. So you can clearly see that we are actually skipping one number: one, three, five, seven, nine. And obviously, if we skip another number, then uh, while talking about the uh, odd numbers, we get eleven. So option alpha will be the right option. Now it seems quite simple, but sometimes you can miss the trick. How? Let me give you another other example. Question two: One, three, five, seven, eight. Now, it looks quite similar to the first question, but it is not. If I give you the option now, that is. Nine. Beta is eleven. Charlie is ten, and delta is twelve. Now we have 
we have quite a similar question, but in a different way. Now we are not talking about odd numbers. We are talking about prime numbers. You know, what do we mean by prime numbers? Prime numbers are the ones that can only be divided uh, by their own. Okay, so no other uh, digit, no other number can actually divide them. So that is why here our option will not be option alpha. Nine nahi hoga. Our option will be option beta because here we are not talking about odd numbers. We are talking about prime numbers. So slight differences can create uh, problems for you. And multiple times I have told you that in MDCAT, each and every number is important. Next, if we talk about letter series, it is quite tricky because uh, it follows the same pattern, but in number series, it is comparatively easy to uh, go forward or to move backwards because in numbers, you normally tend to do so. You can have addition, subtraction, that is a common thing while dealing with numbers. But in uh, letter series, we normally move forward or backward. We do not normally uh, move forward or backward. So sometimes it gets tricky. If I say A, C, E, and I ask you, what number will follow? And the options are G, Beta, F, Charlie, H and delta i. Now we are actually skipping one number or I can say we are adding plus 2 to the previous letter. a plus 2 is c, c plus 2 is e and e plus 2 is obviously g. So our right option will be option alpha. Take another example. If I say What number will be used in the blank? Now we are actually going ahead, but at the end of our uh, alphabet. So what should we use? We know U, V, W, X. So what actually comes before? W, if I give you an option, option alpha, U, beta, V, Charlie, S, and delta, T, so you know that the right option is option beta. So this is how we actually do things in that particular question. Now, uh, talking about the symbol series, you will be given figures, you will be given uh, different symbols, different shapes and you'll be asked what follows next. Pattern will be the same. For example, And here is given a blank and you will be asked what figure will follow. And option A is B is
Charlie is and Delta is so you can easily detect that we'll go for option B because the shapes are repeating you can see so this shape will be repeated in the form of option beta so this is how the number letter or uh, symbol series works so now we move on to the next chunk of uh, this lecture so students now uh, we are uh, discussing the next type of question that is logical deductions uh, what do we mean by logical deductions that you are given a certain situation and you will have to look for uh, the possible deductions or the possible results using detective reasoning. We'll talk about it when uh, we'll have a detailed lecture of logical deductions. Right now, I'm just giving you a sample question so that you may understand what type of questions can be asked under logical deductions. So here we go. Uh, the first question is, in a game, six inverted cups are laid in a row. Each cup has a colored ball under it. The cups are numbered one, two, six consecutively. So, ये समझ लें कि game हम खेल रहे हैं, inverted cups रखे हुए हैं और छः cups हैं और उनके consecutively number क्या हैं? One, two, six. And under each cup there is a coloured ball hidden. The balls are green, magenta, purple, red and yellow. These are the colours of the balls. The balls must be placed under the cups in such a way that confirms to the following. Now, certain conditions will be given. And uh, satisfying these conditions will be a prerequisite for so, uh, for uh, solving that type of a question. Conditions, Kenji, the very first condition, the green ball must be under cup 5. This is called the basic condition. We will see it in detail. Se. Uh, then the red and magenta balls must be under the adjacent cups. What The purple ball must be under a lower number cup than the orange ball. So, it means that if the orange ball is under cup 4 or 3 or 6, the purple ball must be under a lower number cup than the orange ball. Now we move on to our first question that what should be the arrangement of the ball? Overall arrangement, what can be the possible arrangement for these 6 balls? Tarika kya hota hai? आपने उसको satisfy करना होता है condition को देखेंगे बहुत detail से अभी just इस MCQ के लिए हम देख रहे हैं इसको let's see uh, you have the first combination green, yellow, magenta, red, purple and orange these are the different colors or this is the arrangement you have been given now we know that the green ball must be under cup 5 and in option A at number 5 we have purple so, this option cannot be considered true. Beta, magenta, green, here again, it crosses out because we just uh, have read that, that the green ball must be placed under cup 5. And here the green ball is at number 2, so this option can not be considered as well. Then moving on to the third one, here we have the green ball at number 5, but Baki conditions be the The red and magenta balls, so this condition is also true here because they are adjacent to each other. And now move on to the third condition, the purple ball must be hidden under a lower number curve than the orange ball. In, in option Charlie, the purple ball is at number 4 and orange is at number 6, so it satisfies the third condition as well. So we can conclude, we can detect that our right option in this question is option Charlie. Let's discuss the remaining two. Orange, yellow, red, magenta, green. Here also you can see the green ball is at number five, but it will uh, not confirm to one of the two remaining conditions. Like you can see, we said that the purple ball must be placed under a lower number cup than the orange ball. And here orange ball is at number one, so purple ball cannot be placed under a lower number cup than orange because orange is placed at the lowest number. So ye to bilkul bhi nahi ho sakta. And here again, the green ball is at number 5. The purple ball is placed under a lower number cup than orange ball. But the problem is that red and magenta, they are not placed under 
adjacent caps. So this option will also be crossed out as well as option delta and our right option will be option Charlie. So this is how it goes. I have another question from the same statement for you. If magenta ball is under cup 4, the red ball must be under cup. Now you can see we have just read that they should be under adjacent cups. SAN is lava to or this is a basic condition we need to satisfy. Now if I can write it down for you three, four, five and 6. Now under uh, 5 we must place the green ball. So here it must be a green ball. That is a prerequisite condition. And now we are saying if the magenta ball is placed under cup 4, here is the magenta ball. Now we can see that the red ball, because it must be placed adjacent to the cup, uh, having the magenta ball, so we have one thing that is that the red ball is It must be placed under cup. Because यहाँ तो adjacent हो ही नहीं सकता because here the cup number five is already occupied because we have the first condition तो ये तो बिल्कुल भी नहीं हो सकता so the only cup the red ball can be hidden under is cup three so here again our correct option will be option Charlie so this is what we mean by logical deductions now we move on to our next question that is logical problems. So students, now we are on to our next question that is logical problems and this is one of the most uh, tricky questions uh, as far as logical reasoning is concerned and people are most confused about this question. Why? Because uh, things keep on changing and you get confused and you forget, you tend to forget I should say the real identity of the objects. The two statements are given normally including uh, two or in certain cases four different objects and then two conclusions are drawn on the basis of these two statements. But both the conclusions are not necessarily true. They can be true. Both of them, them can be true or either one of them uh, can be true and there is also a possibility that neither of the two conclusions is true. So, these five options are below you, that in only conclusion one follows, it is possible that only one of the conclu conclusion is correct, only conclusion two follows, it is also a possibility, either one or two follows. Now, this is the uh, most interesting, because if conclusion one is uh, drawn, or if conclusion one is the correct one, conclusion two is automatically ruled out, and if the conclusion two is correct, conclusion one is automatically ruled out. And neither one or two follows means that neither the conclusion one or the conclusion two is correct. And last, both one and two follows. This can also happen that both these conclusions are absolutely true. So how can we solve these problems? We normally solve these problems using Bell diagram. And how it works, let me show you. Some kings are queens. So we draw a picture of it. Forget about my circle. Now we are talking some kings are queens. So this circle actually shows the kings and some of the kings are queens. This can also be described as this, these are kings and these are queens. And we can see that some kings are queens. And then all queens are beautiful. All these queens are actually beautiful. All these queens can be beautiful. Now, we check the conclusion. All kings are beautiful. No, because we see only the kings which are in the shaded area, only these kings can be beautiful. All the kings cannot be beautiful. Iske through bhi dekhenge tab bhi hai. Because all the kings cannot be beautiful. Only 
the kings in that smaller circle can be beautiful and all queens are kings that cannot be the case because we see ye wala circle banayenge to fir to theek hoga but if we go to this circle this cannot hold true so neither one nor two follows and our right option will be option beta so this is what we mean by logical problems and this is how we actually uh, deduce the results so now we move on to our next type of question so now students we are moving on to our fifth type of question that is course of action i've already told you what do we mean by course of action as that uh, a certain problem is given and you have to uh, suggest the corrective measures that what steps can be taken to avoid that problem so i'm writing a question for you a large number of people in colony xyz have been diagnosed with malaria now what can be courses of action the one is the municipal corporation should immediately carry out extensive fumigation in colony x y z and secondly people should be directed to use mosquito nets now these two are the expected course of action and you will be given an option a only one beta only two charlie neither one nor two and delta both 1 and 2 sometimes you are also given the option either 1 or 2 now you can see that both these steps are necessary uh, to stop the spread of malaria so on the one hand the municipal corporation should also act immediately and carry out a fumigation then secondly people should also be very careful about the mosquito bite so our right option will be option delta at both 1 and 2 follow this is what we mean by course of action now moving on to our last type that is cause cause and effect now cause and effect are comparatively easy to solve i'm writing a question for you the prices 
of the oil in international market have gone up during the last year that is the statement one and statement two is the prices of the oil in local market have remained have remained unchanged now what can be the possible uh, options option alpha will be statement 1 is the cause and statement 2 is the effect beta will be the vice versa statement 2 is the cause and statement 1 is its effect option charlie is both statements one and two are independent causes delta both statements one and two are the effects of some common cause and eta both statement one and two are the effects of some independent cause so you can see that in international market the prices have gone up and in the local market the prices have gone down so they have no interconnection with each other so ye common cause to option delta ye to bilkul bhi nahi ho sakte because agar common cause hoti to ya to dono hi kya hote down ja rahe hote ya dono hi kya ja rahe hote up ja rahe hote to then we should have gone for uh, option delta now both statement in both statements one and two are independent causes no because we know that the fall and rise of prices is an effect it is not a cause so option charlie cannot be true 
And if we talk about option alpha or beta, they cannot be true as well. We could have considered option beta if the prices in the local market would have also gone up. Because the prices in the international market have gone up and as a result prices in the domestic market have also gone up. So it could have been the case. But we know that our statement tells us that the prices in the international market have gone up but the prices in the local market have remained unchanged. So this cannot be true. And obviously the unchanged prices of domestic market cannot influence the uh, international price as well. So statement beta is be incorrect. When we talk about statement alpha, statement one is the cause and statement two is effect. It is very evident that if statement one is the cause, then there is no change in statement two. Statement two mein to koi effect ho hi nahi na, because the prices have remained unchanged. So if something is unchanged, it means the cause if statement uh, one is the cause, it is absolutely not affecting the second scenario. That is why option alpha cannot be considered true as well. So our right option is option eta. Both statement one and two are the effects of some independent causes. Because we know that price hike is an effect. And what effect is the independent causes? Ka hai. International market ke factors kuch aur hai, or domestic market ke factors kuch aur hai. So that was it for uh, the sixth 